Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time, we helped two lovely people out. This time, let's go see what's going on with our favorite love couple. Mm. She's late. I hope she's all right. Oh, no. Mm. Huh? Kira doesn't have a date today? I thought they were meeting around noon. Yo, what, where, today's a big date. Where is she? Oh, look, was it actually? She hasn't shown up yet. It's been five hours. What? For real? You've been waiting here for five hours. Don't you think you might have been stood up? Yeah. Who knew that? I'm sure something happened. I'm sorry, I'm like, Kuro. Shakira san. Who the freak is this guy? Hmm? Who's that with her? Huh. You're the one who had the rope away, my Kira? Wait. What? No, it's not like that. Just. I didn't ask you. Are you can just put your hands on another man's woman? I had a feeling something was up when she wanted to break up all of a sudden. <laughs> Think you're being played by this jerk off. When we get back home, I'm really gonna give you a piece of my mind. Oh. <laughs> you gave her those bruises? Yeah. What of it? You bastard. Scum? You're nothing but a scum. Oh! Oh, he just apologized. Apologize to her right now. Huh? You little, don't mess with me, or you're the one who's gonna apologize. Yeah. Kasuga. Now I'm mad. I'm gonna kill you right here, right now. You got a knife. Eep! Come on. Let me one shot you. I don't think so. He's got a secret weapon up his sleeve. <laughs> All right, here, Kasuga, bring it on. I'm gonna say two hits. We've been doing with this side quest for how long now? Fif Fifteen. You know what? It's only thing a woman beats him up. It's only things he does. It. Dang, there. It wasn't even worth doing this. You okay, Kuroi? Kuroi-san, are you hurt? I'm so sorry. My actions put everyone in danger. I had no love for him anymore. But I kept lying to myself because I was scared of being hit again. Mm -hmm. But when I saw Kuroi-san working so hard to change his life around, I knew I had to make a change, too. In the end, I'm the one who caused all this trouble. It's not your fault, Shirakawa-san. Anyway, are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. This is nothing new. Forgive me. I should have noticed sooner. Honestly, this whole experience has been rather eye-opening. I've realized I still can't do anything by myself. There's something I have to tell you, Shirakawa-san. About what? I've still got a lot to learn. And I'm not exactly strong enough to protect you just yet. But I'll change. My entire life I've always given up whenever things get tough. I was so afraid of failure. But I'm not going to give up on myself anymore. I'm going to change. I'm going to get a proper job and become a proper man. I'll become a man worthy of you and do everything I can to make you happy. So, uh, do you... Do you think you could wait for me until then? I, um... Uh, sorry, I know it sounds like a lot. Unlike me, you've actually got a future ahead of you. Yes, well, in that future, I see myself with you, Kuroi-san. In fact, I'm almost certain about it. Huh? I'll wait for you. So, when that time comes, you think maybe we can catch a movie? Oh, of course! I... 
I'd love to take you to the movies. Who else will feel good in things? Looks like those two may just work out after all. Good luck, Karoi. Well. We finally beat that mi- I got hurt. God bless it, I hate pound mates. I have- I've used what? Then like five times in total since this game. And I like to play around with the random ones, like the crawfish one's amazing. But, let's go see what's going on over in this spot in the red light district. Oh! Hey, Yumiko-san. Isn't it time you moved on to something more appropriate for your age? I... I really don't know what you're suggesting, Shiho-chan. Mm. Why are they ganging up on that dominatrix lady? Fifty Shades- oh my god. Don't you think you're past your prime? Look, nobody wants you around. So listen to the number one girl, and leave. But I- I do still have clients who request me. So for their sake, I can't just- Yeah, yeah, we know you're totally lying. The rep of this place has been dropping lower than that sagging ass of yours. <laughs> my advice? Find a cushy day job and let the next generation run the show. Got it, granny panties? <laughs> <laughs> but really, don't you think it's time to put down the whip? You could break a hip in those heels. No, I take pride in what I do. I've always done my best to help my clients leave happy, even if there aren't many left. I wasn't asking for your opinion. I'm saying you're nothing but an eyesore. Understand? Ugh. What's with that look? You want me to slap it off your face? <laughs> All right, ladies, that's enough. Huh? I know it's none of my business, but you're taking this way too far. Huh. Oh, and frankly speaking, I think you're the ones bringing your club down, not her. Huh. <laughs> what? Ew, what is with him? He one of yours, Yumiko-san? Only a loser would eavesdrop. This loser is only here because he heard you stirring up trouble. Half the town could, really. I was just passing by. Then why don't you mind your own business? We don't have to listen to some random nobody. Forget it, girls. Let's just go. Hold on, Shiho. We're not finished with her. Yeah? Well, I am. Besides... I got an even better idea. Watch your back out there, Grams. Yeesh. Are you all right there? I am. Thank you. Where are you going? Yes, there's always haters no matter where you go. Sometimes life's a harsh mistress. Wait. Was that a pun? What was that supposed to be a pun? Ooh, shiny. Alright, oh, another clan crest for no reason. Well, there's a random bubble over here that just appeared, so I'm gonna take a guess and say there's That's rather tame. I can't feel a scratch. And somehow that scares me. Oh no. Oh, let's quit with us, sir. Please accept this session on the house. I don't know what to say. I just wasn't enough for him? Don't worry, not even the toughest mistress in town can make him feel anything again. No one can. Aww, mm -hmm. that's sad. Hey. Hey, I got covered or something? Well, you can say he's in our world. We've come to call him Mr. Masochist. Oh, God. Hmm? Mr. Masochist? That's right. He runs the street looking for agony in a basement the lowest caliber, but lately he's been in a funk, saying nothing makes him feel proper pain anymore. Why well, the poor guy? And now he's got every kick called in town, bending over back while trying to satisfy his needs. They're just rolling with it, huh? <laughs> well, think about it. 
wouldn't you want to be known as the only establishment who can break the unbreakable? Some of the buzz you'd like is priceless. Oh. Okay, that is good marketing. They want the business going after him, him breaking king fetch, fetish, bloody gauntlet, dom dom. And I just walk that soggy. The man was stiff as a board, but not in the way he needs to be. Bravo game. That's the way to put it. It's his skin. Mm -hmm. Say what? His skin was concrete hard. No matter how much elegance I gave it, or any of grease for that matter, it wouldn't flinch. Because I still have a long way to go. <laughs> Always so down yourself. Why don't we do some training next time he comes around? They can make you feel alive again. Hi. Yeah, you're right. Well, how to work on the customer service. Just speak. Talk to you later. Yeah, so we got a Mr. Max running around town. Why does this not surprise me? <laughs> How dare you back, Tommy Pig? Squee! Forgive me, mistress. I mean, oink oink. I love this game so much. I love this game so freaking much. I'm gonna go kill these guys real quick. Alright, our glorious... Oh, shiny. I kind of want him just to sit there for the rest of the time. But, you know. Do I have any items that, like, permanent stats increases? Proved by charisma? Okay. The freak are you doing, dude? from the red light district uh masochist you're mr masochist right so you've heard of me before mostly just rumors from a fetish club anyway i'm kasuga kasuga son is it i'm soda makinohara most people simply call me mr masochist uh-huh so why were you headbutting a tree just now because i want to feel i want to hurt Oh, right. I heard something like that from the club owner. About how you can't feel pain anymore. That would be correct. As a true glutton for punishment, I've spent many a night getting beaten half to death by beautiful women in leather, might I add. But that's beside the point. As the months turned into years, my senses began to dull. Eventually, I felt nothing. Happiness is fleeting, as they say. I know I started the conversation and all, but I can't relate to that. Like, at all. Here's who I really am. Oh no. A man with a body unyielding, lusting for pain, yet never receiving. At least I built up muscle. They'd leave me twisted like a pretzel overnight sometimes. <laughs> Alas, I suppose this is no laughing matter. You're telling me. Which brings us to the tree. I thought it would hurt if I smashed it with my head. And did it? No. I felt stronger pain from a mosquito's embrace. Wow. It sounds like you've been through a lot, man. I don't know what to say. Much as I'd like to help, I should probably get going. Wait! Wait! Why don't you just hear me out? I noticed that you have a pretty solid Oh no. Though it pales in comparison to mine. Oh no. Uh, okay. Uh, preference for whip ladies aside, I wish to test my endurance out on you. Beggars can't be choosers, as they say. So let me ask you, Kasugasai. Will you strike me with everything you have? You want me to hit you? Yes. If it hurts, there's still hope. Use whatever tools you have at your disposal. Uh, gang up on me if you have to. He's actually serious. Is he really okay to start wailing on him, though? Sure, I'll punch. You asked for it. And trust me, we ain't no mosquitoes. All right. 
Then come at me! Alright, before I do anything, just because I want some irony, I'm gonna switch Zhao for sake Psycho. And we all know why I'm doing this, right? What? Okay, there is, there has to be like a gimmick to this fight. Even our uh, own dominators can't do anything. What? I bet you you can't really do anything to him. All right, that's enough. We got nothing. Any luck? I'm afraid not. Despite being beaten to a pulp, I can't even feel a thing. For real? Dang. I think I'll never feel true pain again. It almost hurts. Come on, uh. Damascus, was it? I deserve that name. Please, just leave me be. Well, nothing more I can do for him. The pay he's looking for. What? Oh, I get all warm and fuzzy whenever I see a swing. Oh, I really liked them as a little girl. My dad used to take my sister and me to the park all the time. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, if I ever start a family, I'd want us all to play together on weekends too. I'm having a hard time seeing Adachi as a dad. Oh come on, I'd be a good dad, right? In fact, I'd be a regular old sugar daddy. That doesn't mean what you think it means. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> ever. Huh? Huh? Oh. Well, you get the idea. Started so sweet and ended in salt. What the? Uh oh. All right. So, uh, I'm really interested in what's going on. All right. Let's see what's going on here. And oh. hey, you're the guy who stepped in for me. What are you doing here? I did? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're the... You meet Kachan, wasn't it? Something That's right. I forgot to say thank you last time. No biggie. I'm glad I'm you're okay. This girl still getting you trouble? A little, I can handle it. I'm their senior, so I need to set the example. Making a big fuss if that won't do. Now I adore my job. Letting others sit loose and give people pleasure. So I let them like it. <laughs> Let's see my clientele dwindle over time. I'm committed to working hard till my last session. Yeah, I got the pain, right? I love this game. <laughs> I get you. You make a you shift over. You can. Oh. oh, I know you had a customer. Apologies. Uh, I was like that. We were just chatting as well. Ah, so you're your friend? Let me tell you something. <laughs> She's beyond wonderful. She's earnest and diligent. She's practically our poster girl. She paid her ten grand an hour if I if I could. At that rate, I'll get out of business. Yeah. Oh please, I'm very happy with what you give me. Day job, but nobody guessed when the sun gets down. It's too more into a man speaking queen of the night. Mm. Like some old page of her book. Oh, I know you're the sun, ma'am. I do. The rascal spent the entire seven of his bones as we call it, night life potato. You're kidding me. This is what the game's gonna go? He's been avoiding me, too. Probably thinks I'm gonna lecture for days on end, which I should. Mm. Hmm. So he does sure remind me of someone. Right. Yep. Kasuga-san, is it? I'm Soda Makinohara. But most people simply call me Mr. Masochist. 
You're freaking kidding me. Any chance, is it? Oh, do you know him? Then I'd appreciate if you told me how to get a hold of him. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. Aha! You know, I better get going. Have a great night. You too, take care. It caught him in the element. That would be a big deal of pain. Alright. Feel pain. Look more rain pain to yell about your mom. Mm. Well, try to bring his mom over. Bring him? Hey, ma'am. Yeah, something like Actually, Mr. Massa, I mean, Soda, he's in the park right now. Really? You sure? Yep. Okay. Perfect. Today's the day I'll get a bonehead prop or two. I guess I go. I mean, he's got a point. Mom's hurt. Soda. Mom? How'd you find me? I had to get your friend here to tell me. Uh, hello. Explain to what you're doing in a place like this. Don't tell me you quit your job already. No, mother, I haven't quit my job. But why must you always bust my life? Because your career's gone nowhere, you're nothing left in the bank, and you're still sitting on your own, but you're terrible if I didn't butt into your life. Eh? Just look at you. The first I've seen you in ages, and here you are, loafing around in the park, dead of night. Why have you no shame? <laughs> I didn't raise you to be this way. Not, oh, you're a talker, Chun, don't you? The little nice boy used to play in the kindergarten. Look at me when I'm talking to you, sir. So, you know, he decided to grow up and get married like someone I know. And how do you think he got married? Tell me. Go on, guess. It's Mio, your childhood friend. The girl you always walked home, yet you never asked her on a date. Yes, that Mio. Can you believe they're expecting baby next year? Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Taku's mother looks so happy. And who, who would it? It's her first grandchild. I, for one, I wanted to see my grandchild's chubby little face and tickle his toes. But the day would come not come any too, because, well, with how you turned out. This guy. This, this, this hurts me a little bit, son. You hear me? You even get to see my piece, but my patience is running thin. So squint one of your money to your time in your life. I hope you see the list of a woman who carried you in the womb for nine months. I expect the next year 12 hours to get in you at. Okay? I'll see you later then. I feel that pain. Oh, and don't forget to eat your vegetables. Be sure to rest carefully if you can. <laughs> yes, Mom. I hit the wrong button. I hate this. What was it, Kasuga? We're pain. I admit that, but give my mom and the reader a list of grievances. That's just cruel, man. You see, what I wanted was physical pain. That kind of scorched by not your heart. Sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. To be honest, I think I felt that little blast from that. Well, it was just both feeling of being stupid. I thought I'd be happy wait, to be thanking you, thinking of me. Now I appreciate what you've done for me, but you might as well give up at this point. Wish I could just, you know, curl up in a clam at the bottom of the sea. I guess I'm with her. Straighten him out, but instead he gets more twisted. You know, it doesn't damage, damage you. Maybe I should let him go for now. We know what we gotta do, right? Is Are we done for now? Are we done with this sub-story for now? Let the man be. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, well, guys, we're gonna pause that sub story right here, right now. Next time, when you're curious, Yakuza like a dragon. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll see you then. Who are you, fool? Oh, so this babe's Yumiko chan, huh? Hmm. Huh. She does look a bit on the older side, but <laughs> nothing a little lighting can't fix. If anything, I like my ladies mature. Can't get enough of those milfs, huh? <laughs> what is this? Remember how we talked about sales? I thought I'd find you a little side job. Help make ends meet. Aren't I the sweetest? Shio chan why? Don't sweat the details. Now this might get a little bit freaky, but isn't that your specialty? <laughs> Don't do this! Let me go! I know that voice. Yumiko chan. Damn. Where is she? Put the fuck down! Dude, roll the camera. We can edit this shit out later. Quit squirming! You don't want me cutting more than your clothes, do ya? Stop! Crap! 
He's gonna do it! What in the fuck? Oh, I figures. I could be hit by a truck buck naked and still wouldn't feel a thing. Who's this dirty old creep? I say, Mr. Masochist! Kasukasa? Oh, great. Another one. Look, we're filming something important here, so why don't you go piss off? Oh, am I in it? My agent never told me about this. Who wants to see your scroungy-looking ass? What? You plan on sticking around? Then we'll stick you to the side of the pavement! Damn straight! So, um... This happened the second I left that area. This was not intentional. But, I mean, I'm not angry. I'm just confused. That just fit. I forget how useless his attacks are. Oh, okay. Dang, you're tankier than the rest of them. Don, but your attack does nothing. Dang. Too easy, I'm afraid. Take ain't bad for. Holy shit! At top. Get up! What's wrong with you guys? Hey. Take these scumbags and get lost. What you did to Yumiko was way beyond sick. And don't let there be a next time. Yes, sir. Sorry for the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> trouble! You hurt? No, I'm fine. Thanks again for being there. Oh, and you too. You have no idea how grateful I am. Don't be. I'm not that important anyway. I'm pretty much a dead man walking. Numb to pleasure. Numb to pain. Oh. For a guy like me, there's only one way out. Come on, you don't mean that. No. Oh. Normally, I charge an arm and a leg for a slap like that, but you needed some sense knocked into you. You saved me from the worst nightmare I've ever experienced. I was scared out of my mind. Yet the first thing out of your mouth is how unimportant and worthless you are? That's not only disrespectful to me, but you disrespect yourself when you say things like that. Yumiko chan. <sighs> that. Oh, that. That stings. Hmm? Anyway, I wanted to return the favor for helping me out not only once, but twice. I know it's not much, but I hope you like it anyway. Ecstasy. Really? As for you, let me say thank you again. Sorry I had to hit you. But what can I give you? If I may. Would asking for another smack be too much? Huh? When you hit me just now, I was stunned. I haven't felt that kind of pain in ages. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I go too far? The opposite! I don't mean to freak you out, but I love being stepped on, spit on, crushed, maimed, you name it. But lately I haven't been able to feel things, whether you tie me up or beat me down. That all changed with you. Never have I felt such burning admonition in my life. What you did was tenderize my heart. So please, I'm begging you, tenderize my flesh once more. With this! Where did he pull- That's a great- You know I won't hold back. Wouldn't want you to, ma'am. Now execute me. Like you mean it, baby! Did we just the perk couple? <laughs> oh, gee! Oh, it hurts so good! <laughs> You're a naughty little boy. I've been a loss for words. I've never been lacerated so lovingly before. Perhaps 
Perhaps this is being too forward. But could you flog me senseless like this? From now until the end of time? I promise I'll make you satisfied. We could live strappily ever after together. Yeah, too far, dude. Oh, <laughs> that's quite a tempting offer. A man who loves pain and a woman who lives to give it. You can't put a label on romance, I guess. Huh. Wonder what they named their kid. What the heck, Kasuga? <laughs> I should have ended the episode before, and I'm fully aware of it. You don't use healing. I don't know why you have that. Yeah. We're gonna use that to get some levels up. Guys, next one, you're Kazuo like a, Yakuza like a dragon. I have no freaking clue, but we already went over this. I'll see you then.